Hi. Technically, this is the second time I've recorded this video. I posted a YouTube short last week with the idea of doing minute-long, bite-sized build videos, which were quicker to digest. But after doing a poll on my community page, the overwhelming majority of you guys prefer the longer, more detailed videos, which is great because it means you're just like me. You love and appreciate the finer detail, and you like to know the synergy between aspects and fragments. You want to know why I'm choosing specific armor mods and why they complement the build nicely. You're like me, you love to find the perfect weapon, finish the combo off. You fantasize about it. One could say you even get off on it. You lie in bed every night wondering if Commander Zavala can crack a walnut between those tight muscular bum cheeks. Did I go too far? I went too far, didn't I? Crypto? I must admit, Guardian, I'm very curious to see what you've got for me to crack open. <laughs> Okay, let's start off by taking a look at the exotic of choice and the absolute amazing synergy it has with Arclock. Foul Winter's Hound will blind and weaken enemies around you when you finish or kill an enemy with a powered melee. It doesn't actually state that it blinds enemies for some reason, but it definitely does. Pair that with a chain lightning melee and lightning surge aspect to also add jolt to that combo. So now our powered melee is blinding, weakening and jolting enemies. Throw an electrostatic mine to the mix to double up the chances of getting increased ability regen through ionic traces, as this aspect will create them after killing blinded or jolted targets. Lightning Surge is a big part of the way this build plays out, as this is going to let us get up nice close and personal to an enemy to secure that kill, or do a finisher and start the chain off that way. Pair that with our first fragment, Spark of Resistance, which will reduce our incoming damage while surrounded by up to 40%. We want to be surrounded. The more enemies surrounding us, the better, as more enemies will be affected by the debuffs we're dishing out here. Spark of Frequency is the next fragment, which will greatly increase our reload speed after a melee hit. This is super important, as our exotic weapon of choice is the Fourth Horseman. This shotgun hits really, really hard, has super quick rate of fire, but lets us down on the reload speed. Spark of Frequency fixes that. Take a look at this clip where I absolutely destroy two unstoppable champions using this combo. If you look closely, you can see that one of the champion's assholes start to twitch like a rabbit's nose as he realises him and his homie are done for. We're going to make this weapon even more powerful soon, but let's finish off the fragments first. These next two fragments are preference. I personally like to use Spark of Magnitude with a Pulse Grenade, as you can throw the nade at one blinded enemy while you move over to another, and those couple more ticks a Pulse Nade will do are lethal. Then I like to use Spark of Shock which will cause the nade to jolt targets, meaning that if it doesn't kill an enemy to proc electrostatic mind, it will spread jolt to others. In my YouTube short video, I was mainly focusing on taking out unstoppable champions. As with a couple of this season's artifacts mods, it makes it simple to do with this build, but it will work on any enemy or champion if they are already stunned, of course. The low entropy superconductor mod is why this works amazing against unstoppable champions, as our super powerful melee, which blinds, weakens and jolts, now stuns unstoppable champions in the process. Now I mentioned making the 4th Horseman an already amazingly powerful shotgun even more powerful. Monochromatic Maestro will add 10% weapon damage to our arc weapons and stick the Font of Might mod onto a piece of armour to get an extra 20% more damage making a total of 30% more damage this shotgun is dishing out. Weakening a target makes them receive 30% more damage. So you are now dealing 30% more damage while the enemy is receiving 30% more damage. For the rest of the armor mods, I recommend Melee Wowmaker on the helmet. This is gonna spawn elemental wows for us. Stasis arms with melee kickstarter for an instant 15% melee energy back when you use your charge melee. I've also got Font of Might on the arms to give us that fourth horseman buff. On the chest piece, I've gone for Overcharge Wowmaker. This is gonna spawn two arc elemental wows when you finish an enemy, which are normally picked up automatically as they naturally fall on top of you after the animation is complete. Now we have two ways to make elemental wows, and both ways will proc the Foul Winter's Helm armor perk of blinding and weakening. The wows will not only give you ability regen and a damage buff, but they will also proc heavy handed, the leg armor mod. This will give you half of your melee energy back instantly after using your charge melee, and it also stacks with the melee kickstarter mod we have on the gauntlets giving us a total of 65% melee energy back as soon as we've used it. This requires one stack of Charge of Light to activate it, which is where the elemental charge comes in on our Warlock Bond. Picking up an elemental WoW will give us two stacks of Charge of Light, so that's good to proc heavy-handed twice. But if you play the build right, you will never be without a stack of Charge of Light, 
as both the powered melee and finishers are both spawning elemental wells. We want to be using the powered melee and finishers as much as possible to proc all those debuffs and buffs. You are literally now an absolute machine, blinding, weakening and jolting everything in sight and dealing massive damage in the process. Use your powered melee or finisher to kill a small enemy near a bigger enemy. The blast from Foul Winter's Helm will weaken the big guy and blind anything around you too. That's if they aren't already dead from Lightning Surge. The elemental wow you get will proc front of might and heavy handed. Now focus on the big guy and if you haven't already destroyed him with the fourth horseman, finish him to keep the combo rolling. The finisher will continue the blinding and weakening effect to anyone in the area. The bigger the enemy, the bigger the radius of the effect. You should already have a fully charged melee, so find another target and repeat. As we are up close and personal, I like to use an SMG with Swashbuckler, when I'm not using the 4th Horseman of course, as killing an enemy with our powered melee will proc all 5 stacks and give you 4.5 seconds to take advantage of the 33% extra weapon damage this is now doing. So now our primary weapon is dealing loads more damage here too, and continues the synergy with the melee. And for the heavy weapon, anything arc related is great here to take advantage of Font of Might and Monochromatic Maestro. I've opted for an arc sword with chain reaction. This is great for clearing out those helpless lads you're always going to be surrounded by. I think I've covered everything there guys. Thank you for watching and thank you for your continued support. If you like my content and haven't already, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys, bye bye.